Hey y'all, it's your boy Chuck Farley with I Love Rand Paul. I was looking at the news feed this week, and they they did a poll in Ohio, and the the people in Ohio like the big story was they don't want their governor to be the president, but the next big story was that Rand Paul and Chris Christie each got seventeen percent in this poll. And they were leading the pack. They were like the head, the head honchos on the Republican side. And then they had, like on the Democrat side, Hillary and Joe Biden and whatever, a rock with a D written on it. And uh, they were saying stuff like Hillary will win no matter who they put up against her. I guess that's just how Ohio rolls. I didn't know that. And uh, they, it, Rand is down in South Carolina, you know, just visiting even though, you know, South Carolina is like one of them first primary states, you know, and he hadn't decided if he's going to be running for president, wink, wink. And uh, this was, uh, they, they had this thing on Politico where they had uh, photographs and then they had a quiz. Like, how well do you know Rand Paul? And I learned some things about Rand Paul I didn't know. Like, his name is Randall Howard Paul, and he went for most of his life being called Randy. And then his wife changed it to Rand. So the man is he loves his old lady and she says, you know, you gotta you gotta I'm gonna call you Rand. And he's like, right, that's it, I'm Rand. That's my name. And then uh, you know, he said like he met her at a oyster barbecue and he moved to Kentucky to be close to her family. Just just loves his wife. And they had a picture of them. It's real cute. I might I don't wanna blow it up and put it on the wall or something like that. He's such a cute couple. And then I learned like that he was a swimmer when he was in college during his undergraduate time, which you know, I mean, that just explains why he's all, like, you know, uh, strong and sinewy and everything and just, you know, looks like a man. But here's something interesting I didn't know. Uh, the man wears hearing aids. And I was thinking, I didn't know he had hearing aids. And, you know, it sounds like that's a weakness. But what I think it is is because, as I've discussed before, he's an eye doctor. And he's, like, right there in people's faces and I think when he does his eye surgeries and things like that, and he takes the bandages off, and he's like right there up near him, and they take the bandages off, and they go, Oh, Dr. Paul, I can see! And it, it just, you know, like, it, 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 you do that over and over again. It's like repetitive noise damage. So that's probably why he's got to wear hearing aids. And then, you know, now when, like, neocons and liberals or Walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. He can just reach in there and turn it down, you know, like, like your old grandpa used to do. Just turn it down so you don't have to listen to that noise. And uh, here, here's something exciting. Let me leave you with this. Some old boy here in Nevada had, they had a, uh, you know, meetup where you can, like, get together and meet with like-minded individuals. There was a meetup back when, when Rand's daddy, Ron, was running for president. And this thing turned into, like, citizens awareness network where they would tell each other about stuff in the, in the community that, that had to do with like Ron Paul type people. And then it became uh, Nevadans for Liberty. And the old boy, I guess the running this thing was like, I don't know. Nobody goes to meetups. Nobody goes on the website. I'm tired of it. I'm out of here. So I got wind of this. So I joined the meetup and then I volunteered to be the organizer. But I didn't just do that. It's not Nevadans for Liberty no more. I changed it. So now, if you go to meetup.com slash I love Rand Paul, you go to the I love Rand Paul meetup. So now, I have a place to set up meetups and let people know when like Rand Paul's gonna be in town and say, hey y'all, let's all get together and say hi to Rand Paul at this place. Or hey y'all, let's all get together and learn how to be delegates for Rand Paul. Hey y'all, let's go knock on doors for Rand Paul, make some phone calls. So I'm super excited. That's just one more internet place platform that I am that I that, that I love Rand Paul is at. So uh, check out I love Rand Paul dot com, YouTube dot com slash I love Rand Paul, Twitter is at I love Rand Paul, Facebook I love Rand Paul, it, I, and, and now meet up. I, it's, it's taking over the world. It's, it's spreading. It's viral, this Rand Paul thing. Old dog barking in the background. It's time for me to go. Uh, I'll talk to y'all later. That's all I got for, for this week. Peace out, y'all. I love Rand Paul.